form, feet and legs. Form, arms and body. When it comes to some of my favorite bands, sometimes I prefer the live version over the original studio recording for a few reasons. I find the band can sound better live and they can be more experimental with the songs that they have created. Sometimes a live recording of your favorite band can even have the power to take you from your world and make you wish you were right there in the crowd singing along. In this video, I'll put together 5 of my most listened live albums which I recommend. Anyways, let's get to it. Number 5 Kiss Alive Released in 1975, this is Kiss's first live album. This album really showed the people what Kiss was all about. On this album, Kiss packs everything into this live recording, from the drum solos to the guitar solos, the blood spitting, and of course rock and roll. Not only is this a great album, but check the cover. Easily the best album cover for Kiss. This set is 16 tracks long, and boy are Kiss energetic during this live set. One of my favorite songs by Kiss is Got To Choose, and the live version of this song on this album sounds incredible. I personally think Kiss sounds way better live than their studio recordings. I find the studio recordings good, but this album is more fun to listen to. Number 4 Merciful Fate, House of Satan I love me some Merciful Fate. This album is an unofficial bootleg that was recorded in 81 or 82. There are a few Merciful Fate bootlegs that have been released unofficially, but personally I think this live bootleg sounds the best, and I really like the artwork for this album. It looks so psychedelic. I'm so glad someone recorded this live Merciful Fate set because they put on one hell of a show this night. I really enjoy listening to this album quite a lot because this bootleg has a bit of everything featured on it. This album contains 7 live tracks, 6 demo tracks, and finishes with the interview with King Diamond himself at the end of this bootleg. My favourite track on this album will be Corpse Without a Soul. I also like listening to the demo of Truck Driver on this album. While I do think most of the fake studio recordings sound way better than this bootleg album, I just keep coming back to this one in particular because I like how raw it sounds, and it does a decent job of capturing the sound of an early Muscle of Fate show, which is awesome. Number three. Sid Live Sid Vicious wasn't the best bass player, but Sid sure had that look of a rock star. When Sid started his solo career, Sid proved that he was a way better singer with his live recording of his last show. Recorded in 1978, this live album is two live shows combined with 17 tracks of cover songs, but Sid does a great job with his covers, and his humour between his songs is pretty funny. What really got my attention on this live album was Sid's cover of Johnny Thunder's Chatterbox. I like Sid's version way better, easily my favourite track on this live album. I really enjoy a lot of Sid's covers, thanks to this live album. Out there in the wild there are a few recordings of some of Sid's shows, but I recommend this album over the others. On this album, Sid's singing is incredible. People in the crowd would have been throwing bottles, ashtrays, and spitting on the band, but they put on a great live performance. This live recording really shows that Sid was a great singer. Number two. Metallica Unauthorized Recorded in 1989, this bootleg album of Metallica has its dates all mixed up. This album looks like a bootleg of a bootleg. This was the album that got me into Metallica when I was younger, as I only listened to the Black Album but that all changed thanks to this bootleg. This bootleg of a Metallica set has 12 of some of the best Metallica songs, and James's vocals still sound like a demon on this live set. Master of Puppets is the first song on this Metallica live album, and the first song that got me hooked on Metallica. Nowadays, I still listen to this album, as I really like Metallica's version of Am I Evil on this bootleg. These unauthorized bootleg albums were everywhere in the early 90s, but for a bootleg album, this sounds pretty good. The sound was good enough for me at the time, and it still is today. This is the album that got me into wanting to find more bands that had that same thrash sound. Which brings me to the next live album. Number one. Slayer Live Undead Recorded in 1984, this is Slayer's first live album, and man does this pack a punch. A lot of metal bands had great covers, and this has got to be one of the best album covers right here. This album was recorded in a room full of people in New York City, but it sounds like it was recorded in a room full of possessed demons. Slayer are putting on one hell of a show, and the crowd is loving every satanic minute of it. This is one live album where the crowd is chanting and screaming and makes Slayer's live set sound so much better than any live album that I've ever heard. This Slayer live set has 7 tracks. My personal favourite track will be when Slayer plays Antichrist. The screaming during this song just makes it so much better. It's thrash, it's heavy, it's Slayer at their best. I personally think that this album is a masterpiece. 
Not only is this my favourite live album, but this is my favourite Slayer album, followed by No Mercy of course. And that's my top 5 live albums. I really had a lot of fun putting this together. The order that I had these in is just the order that I listened to the most. Um, and let me know guys, what, what's your top 5 live albums? Do you like live albums or do you just like listen to the studio release, you know, recordings, which is still cool. Anyways, in my next video, it's going to be a top 5 frustrating games that I just cannot beat. Um, I try and beat every game that I come in contact with, but there's some games that I've had for maybe 6 years that have just been sitting there where I'm just like, come on man, let me, let me beat ya. But anyways. Um, that's going to be in my next video, so next top 5 video, so look out for that one. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video on this top 5 live albums. Take it easy guys.